Welcome to Vancouver International Film Festival 2019. If your host Honoré BG in Vancouver, Canada, live at the Open Ceremony Gala Red Carpet. The, the Vancouver, you know what? We actually live here. Yeah. We're blessed. My husband, we moved here from New York. <laughs> together uh, about 20, three 17. years ago but i was born yeah. and raised in vancouver so being, being a part of your best memory because you're not a vancouverite i don't know but i love the rain yeah. so like we get a lot of that i'm I actually lucky that my husband likes like, vancouver she's like well, yeah i like vancouver, vancouver is so yeah. beautiful uh, since uh, 2019 festival what are you planning what is your memory will be for this tonight what will my memory be yeah, tonight? Yeah. I think just exploring, um, visiting a lot of yeah, places I'm, I'm, that we haven't seen in a long time. I'm really excited to see this film. And, B, and the BC Spotlight film. Yeah, John Cassini's that's coming film up is really as well. exciting We're, for us. He's a friend of ours, plus he's a very film. talented guy. We can't wait to see One, him. Wonderful. We yeah. thank you so much for yeah, your time. Likewise. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what brought you tonight here? What movie? What movie? Yeah. Uh, we are. Uh, we have a movie called Daughter at the BC Spotlight Gala, that's uh, premiering on October fifth. Being in this industry, how do you see the industry transform your life? How does the industry transform our life? Yeah. Uh, Makes us very tired. <laughs> <laughs> we work long hours. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't think it's transformed my life. I think it's just part of my life. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like the luckiest person in the world when I'm working. Uh, I, I do what I love to do every single day. So the industry never really transformed me. It just kind of, I mean, I just kind of became a part of it. Yeah. Wonderful. You dress so beautiful. What house dress you tonight? Sorry? What dress you? Who dress you? I dressed myself. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It's a mix of vintage and current. Beautiful. Welcome to 2019 VIF. Have a great time. Where are you yeah. from? From Togo. I live here now. From where? From Togo. We are Togo. from the Afro News. Yeah. Oh, where's Togo? Togo is on the west coast of Africa. Oh, Ghana. cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank yeah, yeah. Welcome. Welcome to Viv. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I'm here in Vancouver shooting a movie called A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. It's a family film for Netflix. And uh, yeah, and it's it's great to be here. It's um, a super nice city, super nice day. Yeah. <laughs> are you planning to have a good memory for the Vancouver? What is your message for your fun? Sorry, repeat Your that. message for your fan in Vancouver. Oh, <laughs> well, I love it here. Um, I love, I have a, I'm like a skater, so I like love skating around the streets here. It's super nice, yeah. Thanks so much for having you in Vancouver. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. How are you? Wonderful. Good. This is the Afro News. Yeah. Being in this industry over almost long time now, yeah. what is your, some of your best memory? Well, probably my first, uh, the first Western that I ever shot was a movie called Unforgiven that Clint Eastwood directed and it won the Oscar in 1992 and uh, so that was a big moment for me just being a young guy and, and being in a western um, gosh you know I, I look it back and I think I've been so fortunate to work with people like Dennis Hopper and John Candy and Leslie Nielsen and uh, Clint and Morgan Freeman you know and the people that I've been able to meet and just sort of um, just sort of sit and study, you know, and watch what they do, you know. It's kind of my, it's been my best acting classes to date, you know. At the Vancouver Film Festival 2019, what is your message for your fun? For my fans? Yeah. Well, right now uh, we do a lot, a really fun show called Riverdale, so I want to thank everyone for watching that. And, um, and uh, just to uh, keep an eye out for a lot of cool projects coming down. Wonderful. Right. Have a blessed night. My pleasure. Thanks thank for the you. festival. Thank you. For 2019, hey, this is you. the Afro News. What is your early memory starting doing film business, film, film industry? Your early, early memory. Early memory. So what does early, that mean? Early, your early memory. Oh, my earliest memory yeah. of starting the film industry. Yeah. So my first memory within the film industry that really like sticks out to me was probably this, my first sort of speaking role in any sort of major quasi-production uh, in this film called American Hero where I was uh, just a day player role that came in, but it was the first time that I got exposed to a big set. And then from that big set, it kind of just opened my mind up to, to one, a lot of the roles behind the camera. This was when I was like 14, and that's when I discovered that I wanted to be a director. Uh, then I wanted to shoot my own stuff, all that kind of stuff, X, Y, and Z, you know? Uh, so I'd say, yeah, probably when I was 
that's when I was like 14, going on a big set, and it opened my mind up. Yeah, yeah. And what film brought you into Vancouver today? Uh, Burning Cane, which is my first uh, narrative feature. Uh, it's about uh, a deeply religious Protestant community in rural Louisiana, uh, and it's about the relationships of the people within this town. So, yeah, and it's brought me here. I made it in Louisiana at the end of high school, and it's just kind of crazy to think about where I'm standing even with you, you right here. now. Man. You're here. Welcome to Vancouver. This is the Afro New. Hey. And we wish you all the best. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Festival 2019. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. What movie brought you here tonight? Um, like what movie am I with? What, yeah. I'm with The Body Remembers When the World Broke Open. Um, it's about like two indigenous women in East Vancouver who are from different lives and then um, one's more like lower poverty and then the other one's like middle class and one of them's an abusive relationship and the other woman uh, helps her, kind of helps her with the journey. They both help each other, this journey that they're going on. What uh, memory you would like to have tonight here? Um, I don't know, just all the excitement that everyone has for their films and I'm excited to watch them um, and uh, just everything is, seems exciting. Very good. We welcome you to the Vancouver International Film Festival 2019. Thank you. I think these questions should go to my husband, who is the chairman of the board. Okay. In this case, I am not a lady in this business. <laughs> nice deflection. <laughs> what, what have you seen change in this industry? Uh, changes uh, just in the in the type of films that they're making now, in the length of films, uh, more documentaries, um, and and we're really starting to get more human stories, which uh, we're really looking forward to at this year's festival. Being on this board for a long time now, mm. what is your wish for the next generation? Ah, keep watching films. <laughs> we thank you for 2019 VIF. Thank mm -hmm. you. Have a blessed time. Thank you. To Vancouver International Film Festival 2019, this is the Afro What uh, experience uh, you have in this industry um, the since you started filming? What, uh, this is the second film that I made that, that screened at VIF. You know, I had my first film called Ilo Ilo that screened here six years ago. And uh, really excited to be here. I wasn't here with my first film. I'm here with my second film. Uh, the film has just started its journey. It world premiere uh, at TIFF in Toronto uh, in the platform competition. And um, it's great to bring it to this side of Canada. What is your message for your fun in Vancouver? My message your, for? Your fun in Vancouver. Um, I don't know, Vancouver is sort of like close to my heart because I've got family here, I've got um, a lot of relatives here. Um, I'm hoping that people will come and see the film, people will enjoy watching the film. Um, we spent quite a few years working on this one and I hope that uh, audiences in Vancouver here would, would, would love it. We welcome you to VIF 2019 and good luck. Thank you, thank you very much. Hello, how are you doing? Wonderful. This is the Afro News. Oh, wonderful! Being this uh, this city and represent the government and see yeah. the art industry, how this have changed or transformed our economy? Well, uh, film and television here in British Columbia is absolutely booming. It's now uh, over three billion dollar uh, economic driver here in in British Columbia. We have such amazing, talented uh, crews and and uh, directors and teams um, that uh, help produce BC is a fantastic uh, destination to choose to make your films. Do you think the government have more role to play in the art industry? Absolutely. Uh, we're, as a government, very committed uh, to film here in British Columbia through our tax credit programs, uh, through our support, and we, we recognize that you know a $3 billion industry is good family-supporting jobs that we want to we wanna promote. We thank you for V for 2019, and we thank the government for all the work they are doing. Well, I thank you so much. It's good to be here. Thank you. Um, what house? Dress you so beautiful tonight. What is the fashion oh, house? Oh, Ted Baker tonight. Ted Baker. Ted Wonderful. Baker. Is it Vancouver fashion? No, no, that is um, London, 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 England. Yes. Wonderful. Now, be in this industry, live in the Vancouver, or see whatever we have to offer in the city. What right. do you see? Uh, mostly, the art industry bring to our city. 
the the art the, the creative industry. Oh, yeah. the film industry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, it's such a wonderful thing to have here, and I think the the biggest thing that it brings is the opportunity for local creators to work on some of these larger productions to really hone their skills, strengthen their own um, skills as creators, and then get to make their own films. And we see those show up then in the BC Spotlight and in our Canadian program. And I think it's a wonderful creative ecosystem that we have here. Be a lady, a woman in this industry. What do you see? Change. Uh, what What is your hope to see change in the future? Well, I think a lot of things need to change, as we've talked about. Um, but I think that things are changing, and I feel very hopeful about that. And um, did you see any of the Emmy speeches? Yeah, right? So there's some hope there. Slowly, yeah. slowly. So courageously, we are making a change. Yes. We thank you so much for uh, you your for time having... and uh, have a wonderful, blessed evening. Thank you and yeah. have a great festival. Welcome to VIF 2019. This is the Afro News. Uh, what exciting you are tonight to be the guest of honor? With a film called Guest of Honor, yeah. uh, yes. Uh, well, I can uh, say that I'm actually an African-born director because I was you born did. in Egypt. <laughs> I, of course, I know. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I'm also pretty, uh, you know, we're, we're very, very excited because uh, I was raised in BC. And so uh, my first festival was actually a student film festival here. So it's great to be back. And uh, this is Arsene's first time, and we've been making Hi. films for a very long time together. Being in this industry, what is your early memory in this uh, start this industry? Well, uh, with every project, you have you keep a different me memory because uh, ev every every one of them are so special in their nature. So uh, one thing for sure, you never get bored. So uh, you have to reinvent yourself and you re uh, sort of find yourself in the moment of the new project and discover that project independently every time. Wonderful. As a couple working on this industry, do you think it's challenging to travel around? I, you know, we've been doing it for so long. I think we're very used to it. It is challenging because uh, we also raised a family and it, it was just very... Uh, but we, we love what we do, so it's a pleasure. It really is. It's an honor to be doing what we do. For a quick message for the African community, all, all the people who are watching around the world, this is the Afro News. What is, you, what is your message for all the African directors or young people? Uh, tell stories. Like we need uh, stories from everywhere and really with the technology we have it's very, very uh, possible to be able to use film to tell stories and it's an amazing way to communicate to people, uh, to give us experiences of how, how other lives are lived. So uh, I think that, you know, sometimes when we watch films we think we can't do that but we can. Anyone can tell a story. We thank you so much for thank your you. time you. and have a wonderful blessing time in Vancouver. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. See the art industry change our, our well, life. I, I think the film industry has actually blossomed in this city uh, since about 1998 or 1999. We've actually grown and grown and grown. But what is really wonderful about VIF is that it's not really only about American film coming here and making, you know, big motion pictures. It's about celebrating our own Canadian writers and producers and uh, people like Adam Agoyan, you know, celebrating the, the great, great Canadian film industry. And it's really nice to watch us grow so that people can recognize Canadian film. I say Someone who worked in the government for so long and a government representative, do you think government have a more role to play? I think government has a great role to play. This is a clean industry. It's an industry that hires uh, and, and, and gives full-time jobs to millions of people and you know from every single sector you know whether it's in whether it's the construction sector to the makeup to the industry to the writers etc and we all know that LA is full of Canadian film writers right so you know I mean I think the most important thing is that we can grow even more and bigger and and I would like to remind everybody who didn't know that Vancouver is the number one global hub for special effects in the world Right? Yeah, that's true. That's very true. You know, if, if, what is your message for those who will be watching you right now and being in this uh, city, living in this city, uh, one day, what will be your legacy will be? 
Well, I am hoping that VIF will continue to grow the way it's been growing right now, to be bigger and better and greater and expanding. I think we're going to have to, what I would like to do is to say to Toronto, eat your heart out. We welcome you to 2019 VIF. As a more honorable, it was always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. <laughs> well, this is wrap our 2019 Vancouver International Film Festival. Uh, it was uh, excellent to be able to talk to all these directors across the globe. And uh, the Afonis represents our community in the best way. And uh, we have we have sponsored Buddha in Africa, one of the African movies from South Africa. We will continue to do our best to represent the community and represent our beautiful city. Welcome to and uh, thank you so much for all you guys who are watching 2019 Vancouver International Vancouver Festival. It was a very beautiful day. If your host, Honore Gweje. Bye.